Cross training has been done since the beginning of sports and it helps so much, you have no idea. Almost every single professional doesn't just train with their sport. You know what I mean? Lifting weights, running, jumping, box jumps. This is all forms of cross training. If you guys like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. In this video, I'm gonna tell you which sports you should choose to cross train for wrestling that will help you the most with wrestling. You know what I mean? Some sports, wrestling helps, like with football and soccer. If you train wrestling, your football and soccer game will get better. But if you train soccer and football, then your wrestling game won't improve at all. Does that make sense? Now, before I get into this, I wanna talk about the sports that don't help with wrestling. Like, they help a little bit, but there's other sports that help 10 times more. So first is football, all right? Wrestling helps football, football does not help wrestling. Okay, if you wanna be great in wrestling, you don't train football. Football just gives you brain damage. It just, like, wears on your body, it hurts your joints, hurts your knees. You know what I mean? It causes a lot of injury. And there's too many rules for it to be applied into wrestling. You know what I mean? You can't grab onto someone. You can't, like, there's too many rules of, like, offsides, of pass interference, of, you know what I mean? There's too many rules. Wrestling is a very fundamental sport. It requires a lot of creativity. I think having, like, a game plan or having a, having a playbook goes completely against this. Wrestling is very creative, and it has to do with how you feel, how, like, in the moment, how is your opponent making you feel? How do you, like, what do you feel you can hit? What do you feel you can accomplish with the time you're given, with the speed your opponent has? You know what I mean? In football, it's like, let's hit this play the best we can, all right? And let's see how they react. In wrestling, you have to actually learn what your opponent does. You have to learn, is he on his heels? Is he on the balls of his feet? Is he on his front foot? Is he on his back foot? Is he circling left? Is he sugar foot? Is he... Uh, staggered. I don't think football is creative enough to be applied into wrestling. Can you take some of the weight training aspects and will it make you better at wrestling? Yes, but I think other sports are better for this. Another sport that isn't good to cross train with is soccer. Okay, soccer, you can't really be physical. There's no real contact. It, it requires a lot of teamwork, which isn't good for wrestling because in wrestling, you don't have anyone to rely on. You just rely on yourself. It helps with your endurance, but I personally think just running would help more with your endurance than soccer. And for those reasons, I think soccer is just too, like, it is too specific. It is too, like, you're doing too much of a specific thing for it to be applied to wrestling. You know what I mean? Same thing with swimming, all right? I think swimming helps with your endurance. It can help with your like your muscle growth, but you know what I mean? You, like the endurance required for wrestling is you not only need more, but it has to last longer. Like a hundred meter swim race is not as long as a six minute wrestling match. Does that make sense? So you want to train things that are more difficult, that push the aspects that you use in wrestling so that when you actually go to wrestle, they're better. The first sport that I recommend, which is actually very unorthodox, I haven't heard anyone recommend this ever, would be motocross, okay? If you ride a dirt bike, if you ride any sort of motorized vehicle, you have to think of what you're gonna do before you do it, and you have to do what you've already thought of. So there's like two parts of your brain that are working at the same time. It messes a lot with your commitment. If you don't commit to a turn, you're either gonna go straight through it, or you're gonna lay it down. If you don't commit to a jump, you're gonna fall. If you don't plan ahead of the turn, you're gonna hit in a trail, you're gonna hit a tree. You know what I mean? It's it. And it messes with your reaction time too, you know what I mean? If you're coming around a turn, you only have so much time to react if there's another turn or if there's a straight or if there's a whoop or if there's a jump or if there's... So riding motocross, especially trail riding, helps a lot with this. In wrestling, this gets transferred into wrestling by... It, it helps you notice when he's like the arm he's putting out or when he's putting out an arm, what you have to do before it. It helps with your timing. Seeing a turn determining how far you have to lean your bike over and how quick you have to go helps a lot with like when someone is posting out on you you like you're like all right he's posting out on me and in your mind you think of all the things that you can do when he posts out on you you're like all right I can go post I can go elbow pass I can go slide by I can go duck I can you know what I mean and that happens really quickly like really really quickly and the more you train like that the more you train motocross, the faster it happens, or at least that's what happened with me. Another sport that helps with wrestling that I would literally would have never guessed, would have never, ever, ever guessed is skateboarding, all right? Skateboarding and wrestling are very, very similar, believe it or not. Skateboarding and wrestling both, you have to be extremely creative. You have to 
feel what you what you're capable of doing on this course you know what i mean the opponent you're wrestling is a lot like a skate park can you drop in on a 12 foot ramp i don't know can you hit a double leg on this kid it's like the same question it helps you know what you're capable of what you can do and the way you practice skateboarding is very similar to the way you practice wrestling it's a lot of repetition it's a lot of like figuring it out on your own, figuring out what works for you, how you can manipulate this board to work for you, how far you can push the board to work for you. All right, you learn how to kickflip. Very similar to learning how to double leg. All right, but can you kickflip off a 10 stair? Can you double leg a state champion? You know what I mean? It's the same kind of training. It's like just slowly, incrementally, like building yourself up until you get to the point you want to be at. And you're never really at the point you want to be at. You get used to this feeling of comfort or discomfort when you know you can hit a trick or you can't. And it's the same feeling you get in wrestling when you know you can hit a double leg or you can't. Or you know you can hit this duck or you can't. And this helps a lot with, it, it helps in your decision making a different way. It helps you, like motocross helps you know what you can do, like what the options are. And then skateboarding helps you decide which is the best option. The last and most effective form of cross training, in my opinion, is gymnastics. Believe it or not, if you get into a gymnastics gym, you start doing parkour, something like that, it's like, there isn't a ton of injury involved with it compared to like football or soccer where people tear ACLs and meniscus and shit like that. There isn't as much injury. There isn't as much injury as football or soccer or motocross or skateboarding it helps with your creativity to an extent i wouldn't say as much as skateboarding but it helps with your creativity right you have to build a routine it helps with your strength and endurance and the strength and endurance that you build in gymnastics is directly applicable to wrestling okay does that make sense so the th like the muscles you gain in gymnastics you can use directly in wrestling you know what i mean the muscles you gain from doing a muscle up on the rings you can use for a double leg. You can use those for a high crotch. You can use those for a throw. You build your endurance like an animal. You, like, if you train gymnastics properly and you get good at it, you're, you become like a lion. You become like a tiger, you know what I mean? You can literally go so hard for so long. And you can tell, if you see a gymnast, they are yoked. They all have like perfect six pack. Their back is ripped. Their legs are ripped. Their arms are huge. But they're not like, they're not like, giant they're like rock solid they feel like rocks uh gymnastics helps with your flexibility it helps with your ability to do the splits your like your ability to get your feet away from your hips does that make sense and these are all fundamental aspects so either pick up a skateboard pick up a dirt bike or go to a gymnastics gym if you're trying to get better at wrestling in the off season a lot of the time you don't want to only train wrestling because you tend to hit a wall you tend to hit like like training this one specific way only allows you to get so good. You wanna expand your horizon. You wanna open up your mind so that you think in different ways and you can apply it into wrestling to push yourself further than you once were. If you guys like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I hope this helps all of you guys. But until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.